my name is Abdulrauf. In this first tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download the WordPress software package and then that of the WAMP server package software package and to do that we need you need to open your chrome browser or your safari browser any browser that you use and then under the um search bar you type um first we're gonna we're going to get the wordpress software so you type wordpress dot o r g then hit enter So you'll be taken to this website so for you to be able to download the wordpress software we just click on get wordpress and then it will take you to the next page where you can download the wordpress software so to do that you just click on this button and then it will automatically start the downloading process of the WordPress software. I've got that already, so I don't need to download that. So the next step we're gonna do, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're going to get the WAMP server. So to do that, we open a new tab, and then you type WAMP server download onto your address bar, into your address bar, and then you choose the first um, resource that Google gives you. Under that, you see the address to be www.wampserver.com forward slash en forward slash. So you click on that one. So after clicking on that one, it will take you to the WAMP server official website where you can download WAMP server from. So you scroll down here until you see downloads and then you see one server 64 bits x and then the version number and then 32 bit so what basically what this means is that this link gives you the 64 bit version of the one server if your system is running on a 64 bit operating system and then this one too also gives you the 32 bit operating as a um, version of the website if your system is run on 32 bit so to get that you click on the one which will best suit your operating system so click on this then you'll be given a pop-up with some warnings so you read that and then you click on download directly it will redirect you to sourceforge.net projects for slash one server for slash files so to get that you just click on this button and then it will automatically download um one server onto your computer for you so i think basically that's how we get those softwares i've got them already on my local desktop so i don't need to download them anymore so in the next class i'll show you how to extract them and then do the installation for both software so see you in the next series okay welcome back in this video tutorial i'll be showing you how to I mean install WAMP server onto your desktop so the first thing we need to do is that after downloading the WAMP server you realize that you've been given a distant um, a zip file so you open that so after opening that you just drag this one onto your desktop so when you drag it onto your desktop it will automatically extract the software onto your desktop i've got that already so let's begin with the installation so we double click on that 
it will launch the warm server installation um, software process for you to be able to download uh, to install it onto your machine so you accept yes so you choose your language english then you click on ok and you accept the terms of service as a license agreement then click on next and then next again and then next again i've got that um um folder onto on my computer so that's why i'm getting this one so you forget it you will not get that if you've previously not installed one server onto your machine so i'll just click on yes and then it will install it into that folder for me then follow the prompt i'll need to go back here and then just get rid of this set folder so let me just get rid of um, this folder So as you can see it has already it has automatically recreated the folder again here for me you um our installation has been successful so now the next thing is for us to choose the browser type that we want to use so to do that if you want to keep with explorer you just click on no but for the sake of um you being be able to use um, kind of wordpress smoothly I'll encourage you to either use Safari or Chrome, but Chrome is preferable. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to click yes, and then it will take us to our programs directory. So if you move back here, look for Google and then click on that, then get into Chrome and then application and then select Chrome. Always remember to choose the application type. We see that this the type here is with application and then you see the chrome um sign here so you choose that one and then you click on open so the next thing we're gonna do is um for you to um decide which text editor type that you want to use so for me i want to use sublime text editor but you can leave it with the default notepad editor so to get to my to get to choose my sublime text editor i'll have to select yes and then it will take me here so i have to go back to the windows setup um, local text then programs and i'll now search for sublime text 3 and then i'll choose sublime text and then my solution would um, finalize the solution of the software this is the screen that you get you have to notice something here after installing one server 3 the default username is root without course and there is no password which means that you must leave the form password box empty you have to always note this so click on next and then click on finish and then we're done so in the next class we will talking about um, how to configure the WAMP server so that you'll be ready for your WordPress installation. So see you in the next class. So welcome back. Um, you launch your WAMP server software with the icon deployed on to your um, desktop. So you accept yes and then automatically one server will start don't mind this command prompt if you see that it will automatically vanish away you won't get to see that again so you hover back to your um your tax bar if you do not see this icon here you click on this 
you might see it here so this is it you have to wait for the icon to turn green before you launch your um your local host so the next thing we're going to do is that you just click on it when you click on it then you come and then click on local host to launch your local host server so the next thing we want to do is um we're going to log into our database so to do that you click on the php admin it will redirect you to the um login page remember we were told our username was root and our password was nothing meaning that we're not going to enter anything into the pass password um section so always keep that in mind our password was nothing so meaning that we're not going to enter anything into the password section so always remember that and always remember that your server choice should be my sql you have to always keep that in mind because the default um wordpress software we downloaded works with the my sql server but in other ways too, it works with the um um the maria database stuff so and that will have to take a lot of technical abilities to do that but with this tutorial we're just going to stick with the basic basic um and defaultness of the whole process so you click on go to automatically take you to the my sql server environment so our next task would be to create a database so that we'll be able to use that database to i mean install our wordpress onto it so to get a new database you hover here and then click on new so you type your database name in here so you might just wanna um give it a name wp maybe data base um something like this if you want you just give it a name like this wp database and then you click on create so basically we're done with our database setup so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to um extract our this thing um our wordpress software so i'll see you in the next class so that you know how to go about that so welcome back um in this class we are going to extract um our wordpress software so that we'll be able to use it and install it on our local host to do that you click on your you launch your wordpress um zip file So in it, you would find a folder called WordPress. So you just drag and drop it onto your desktop so that it will um, extract the whole software onto your desktop. So when it is done, you close this window. Um, then you head over to your computer then onto local dex um you open your warm server folder then you open this folder take note of it that www the three w's so you open that one too and then you drag this folder in here the wordpress folder so to when that is done you open it and then you will look for a file um right in here 
the config the wp config sample then you open it with your text editor so I'll open, i'm open mine with um the the sublime text editor then you scroll down here until you see database name here remember the database name we chose earlier on when we were creating our database i think it was um wp data base and then the username remember that our default username was root so sorry so you type the root in here and then remember we had no password so you get rid of the text here and then you save the file and then you close it so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to restart our WAMP server so we'll wait until it is restarted so you, you exercise a bit of patience while it is restarting if you wait for it to turn green you have to wait for it to turn green so now let's head back to our dashboards let's just get rid of let's close this um browser and then let's relaunch it again localhost to automatically open our browser so when that is opened you would you should type forward slash and then wordpress remember the folder name we dragged into the one server www um, folder it was wordpress so enter that then hit enter on your keyboard it will take us to our wordpress setup that's the installation um, page so here you select your language of preference i'll leave it as default and then click on ok uh, continue sorry then you can have a read of what they've written there and click on let's go then remember database was wp data base so you type that into the database name section and then root into the username section and then the password remember was empty so you leave it like that and then the database host is um local host so you click on submit it will now to run the installation so click on run installation and then you give your site a title maybe i just put demo block here the username if you like you just leave it as local host but if you want you just put something like maybe admin or um your username any name you wish to i mean get in there so you might want to put in some password here so just kind of um, put in some password here local host and put one two and then just get it so confirm that as you confirm the use of um, a weak password so you can confirm that i just put in my email address here you have to get an email address there if not it will not work so that discourage search engines from indexing the site it is up to search engines to honor this so if you want you just um select that one if you want you just leave it what this means is that if your site was to be um hosted on on a server online it um it will this um command would send a signal to search engines like google bing bing and other stuff not to index your site on to their uh, search results so as it implies it is up to the search engines to honor this request so if they wish they would um 
um, adhere to your request and if they wish to they will just um, go ahead with what they wish to do so you click on install wordpress and then our installation begins so success the next thing is click on login then local host remember your username was admin and then type in the password you chose um ours our ours was local host one two three and then some then click on login oh come on this was um admin yeah so i think we're having some problems here so um a password local host one two three yeah bingo we are into our wordpress that's but so congratulations you've successfully installed wordpress onto your local host using one server so that's it for this one so in the next um subsequent tutorials i'll be teaching you how to i mean um install a theme create post um install a pro plugin and then add some pages onto your blog site so that it will look unique so that's it for this one see you in the next one bye